What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be going over part two of our series on how to use some of the major functions of Snapchat for Android on the S22 Ultra. If you like this kind of content leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So in this video we'll be going over some of the major features of Snapchat. Snapchat is a really unique social media platform as it combines a few separate things that make other competitors really popular. You have your chat feature, you have your photo feature which allows you to share stories and memories with your friends group, and then you have Snapchat's trademark map feature which allows you to see what's going on in the area around you with other people using Snapchat. And of course, on top of all of this, Snapchat is really unique in that the chats that you share with your friends and the memories that you share with your friends only last for a specified period of time. So let's go into the main screen on Snapchat here. At the top right of the screen here, you can switch between the rear and front facing camera. You can also turn flash on or off. At the bottom of the screen is the circle button to which is your shutter trigger. So if you want to take a new snap, you want to hit this button for the shutter feature. To the right of the screen is one of Snapchat's trademark features, which is the lenses filter. Here you can swipe between various lenses and of course the Snapchat app will add this lens to whichever shot that you have. There's a few famous lenses and there's a few ways of getting more lenses, but we'll go into lenses further in a subsequent video. So if you take a, a picture here, you have the option to either add a caption, change the color temperature of the picture, crop the picture, add music to a photo. If you hit the lens button, you'll see that there's a variety of di different lenses that you can select and you can search between categories like color, frames, effect, face and body for different lenses that alter your image that you can send to your friends. You can also add an attachment and crop the image in Snapchat as well. At the bottom left of the screen you have the option to save this. You can either save it to your memories which is a database that's backed up by Snapchat with your saved memories. Or you can save it to your phone's camera roll as well. You can also add this to your snap story. And adding a snap to your snap story will allow your friends to view your snap an unlimited number of times for 24 hours. You can save this to your friends. Photos or videos of snaps with a timer can be sent with no limits and saved in a chat by friends. So that's some of the basic features of the photo mode. You can either save it to your memories, you can either save it to your story, or you can send it directly to your friends. If it's saved in your memories, there's no time limit on when this will expire. But if you save it to your snap story or you send it to your friends, there's a limit on how long your friends can view your snaps for a period of time. So those are the basic functions of the camera feature. In our next series of videos, we'll be going over the map function and also going over the chat function as well. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.